For a while now I've been playing with these uh, Wemos D1 boards. They're basically an Arduino. You just angle these lights a little better. But instead of having an Atmel chip, they actually have this Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. Maybe you can make out there, it says it's an ESP8266 upside down. Um, <clears throat> these little guys basically have an Atmel chip inside plus itty bitty kernel of Linux that's always in there. And you must, let me flip it over, you must get the board D1 release 2. If you get the release 1, you end up with two buttons, I think it's reset and program or something like that. And every time you want to load a program, you have to be flipping with this button, flipping with that button, and flipping with both buttons, and the flipping program never flipping loads. So, if they're giving away release ones, tell them to keep it and give them a couple of quid for a release two. Because they're just not worth it. Now, when you're using the um, Arduino IDE, the development system, it, um, whoops, get my fingers out of the way of the lens. Um, let me just bring my, if I can find the damn mouse again, here we go. When you're using the um, Arduino IDE, this guy up here, I'm using Arduino 1.8.9. When you actually go down to the tools, you'll see the board type is Lolin, maybe, because they have apparently have acquired Wemos. But it says the Lolin Wemos D1 R2 and Mini. And these are all the settings if you want, if you ever get around to doing anything with them. Um, but that's really convenient because this is the D1R2. And here, <laughs> surprisingly enough, whoops, knocked it. This is the Mini. As you can see, it says Mini. Um, I'm sure it's a clone, um, but it still has the same Wi-Fi Bluetooth module, which is the ESP, can I get it in focus? Maybe, 8266. Um, it has a USB port, just like this one here. Um, it has a 340 USB to serial chip, just like this one here. It has a couple of regulators. And I think this thing will focus in very well, but and it has a itty bitty reset button here, which is a lot smaller than this one, and a couple of LEDs. But the primary load LED is the itty bitty tiny one. You can just make out maybe in that corner there. You back off a bit. There we are. But as you can see, when they say mini, they mean mini. Now, of course, you can see all these I.O. lines, data lines along here, which you do not get on the mini. Um, not sure exactly what you do get, but I think it was like eight or nine pins aside compared to goodness knows how many here and it has a quite a lot less memory I seem to remember um, but it's still an amazing little chip and or board rather but the nice thing about this is the stackable so here we've got the mini 
And here I have an OLED shield version 2.0.0 and it stacks on top like that. And now the D1 shield format has expanded into things like um, memory card slots, real-time clocks, um, power supplies, um, relay cards, um, whatever, whatever. Now what I've done, there's a little example program for this little display. And it's called, it's just basically an analog clock. But you have to set it, you know, you declare what the hours, days, and no, sorry, the hours, minutes, and seconds are before it starts up. So what I decided to do was amalgamate another program which uses the Wi-Fi. It connects to my in-office Wi-Fi network, giving it internet access. It then communicates over the Wi-Fi to the, actually I've picked an American time server. Uh, let me see if I can just, probably, uh, where is it? Let me scroll that out of the way. Here you are, you can probably make it out here. I've connected it to time.nist.gov which I believe is an American time server. And what it does is I took the two pieces of code, the code that <clears throat> ran the clock. And as I say, you just had to tell it where to start time-wise, hours, minutes, seconds. And I tied it in together with a NTP client, it's called. It's... Um, well, it goes online and gets the time for you. And put the two together. And it worked out really well. Let me just stop this video and I'll plug it in and show you.